well, MDOT got involved in this project after the state archaeologist called us and had found out that we do LIDAR or that we might know something about LIDAR and wondered if we knew someone who could do this. Um, we thought that we, it would be something that we could probably do and that we would like to be involved. So it kind of proceeded from there. As we proceeded to do the fine scans, we discovered that anytime we're doing any fine resolution scans that might be higher resolution than a typical highway job, we might encounter some technical issues that we hadn't seen before. Um, we're still working on figuring out a way to, to get around those, but it was helpful that now we understand what those problems are and we'll be watching for them in the future, especially on bridge projects or things like that with, with very fine scale resolution. There were a couple of ideas on how to do this. We decided on a dual effort, both LiDAR and photogrammetry. For LiDAR, we used 13 setups using a, a Leica scanner on a tripod, 13 different locations around this, the artifact. Uh, with an ultra-fine resolution, uh, much higher than we normally use for road projects, it resulted in about three billion points, which was way more than we had expected. Um, six of the setups were a full 360 degree scan, and the rest were high resolution, just focusing on a window on the artifact itself. What's really cool, though, about this particular model is that you can actually see more detail here than you can when you're standing out on the grounds looking at the petroglyph. Um, between the texture of the rock itself, variations from here to there, between the algae growing on it, um, the lighting and the shadow on the stone. If you remove all that and just have this, all, all you have to do is change the direction of the light in this model or the direction that you're viewing it from, and you can actually see way more here than you can standing out there. Earlier, there was a diagram of their uh, hundred or more uh, petroglyphs. I'm curious to see if they discover more once they start analyzing this. So this is what the model looks like at this point. Um, this, all the extraneous information out here will be cropped out. Now that I've done this presentation once, I talked to somebody who knows how to do that, and I'll be working on that next. Um, but you can see, if you ignore the extraneous data on the outside, the stone itself is very well represented. And we think that um, doing some kind of a standalone track uh, kiosk with a trackball and a zoom button or something like that is, is definitely doable once we get it cleaned up. <laughs>